when I was on the plane to Tanzania, I met a young man and I said I was going to do this conference on child marriage. And he said, is this still happening? And I said, yes, sometimes 12 year old children are married to men who could be 60 years or sometimes 50 years. Most of the parents, they too think that child marriage is like the way they can end their poverty. It's an issue that has been going through generations and it's part of the culture, part of the tradition. 14 million girls are getting married every year under the age of 18. That means that every two seconds, one, two, a girl under the age of 18 got married. Now think of a tiny young girl, 12 year old, 13 year old, 14 years old, having to give birth to a full grown baby. Most of girls, they are having operations just because their bodies are not too well matured. We need to make sure that we get the community to realize that it's against the interest of the whole community to marry the girls young. It's still happening mainly because of cultural norms and tradition. When trusted people can have those discussions, then the community often realizes that this might be a tradition that has been taking place for generation after generation but it's hurting not just the girl, but the community as a whole. You know, educating one girl, you're educating a village, you're ed educating a community. This young girl can be a productive member of the family, can be a voice that stands for the inequalities, can promote health and sustainability for the family. That is why the issue of political commitment is so important here, because without that, we really can't implement the programs that need to be implemented at the, at the community level to change those social norms. There are legislations and laws uh, but we need to ensure that these laws are implemented. The more people we have who understand the issue, I think the more it will rise to the top of the agenda for politicians. Well, what really needs to happen is change on the ground at the grassroots level. And I'm optimistic that that process is starting now and we can eradicate child marriage in one generation. We want to bring this to the top of the government agenda uh, to make sure that uh, young women throughout the world and in, in, in my particular interest throughout the Commonwealth have the opportunity to grow up, to have a proper education so that they can enter adulthood in a proper fashion.